Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here and today we'll be in the water together working cooperatively as a team to practice and perform synchronized swimming routines. You'll be huddling with your team to discuss how to improve your strategy before your next attempt and then work around the twists that are thrown into the mix as they come. Sink or Swim is for 3-6 to six players, takes 30-60 to 60 minutes to play, is for ages 14 and up, and published by Bezier Games. Today, we'll be doing a rule school where I'll teach you how to set up and play the game so that you don't have to read the rule book yourself. Now, I've placed timestamps below me right in the description of this video, just in case you want to jump to a specific section of the rules. Without further ado, let's get started. Sink or Swim is a cooperative game for three to six swimmers where you're all trying to put together a synchronized swimming routine. You can play this as a 10 game campaign in order or randomize it for unlimited replayability. Each routine is going to have different elements. Like each swimmer having to play the same color card, face down on the corresponding lane on their own board. You only have a certain amount of time to do this, then stop the clock before time runs out and flip your cards to see if you're successful, allowing you to move on to the next round in this routine. But as the routine goes through different rounds, more and more challenges add to what's already there. Now players are going to be strategizing even before the timer starts, that's when they'll pick up their cards and talk about what's in their hands. And hopefully all players are able to finish the routine correctly, like having even or odd cards or having two different colored cards, or having specific numbers, and many other different combinations. So let's see if you and your team has what it takes to put on the perfect synchronized swimming routine. To set up, you're first going to download the free app called Sync or Swim, and you'll do that on your device's app store. But only one player needs to download the app. We'll come back to that app in just a moment. Next, you're gonna set up the center platform and it's gonna go in the middle of the table. It will look like this. Next, each player that's known as a swimmer will take their very own swimmer platform and place it in front of them. Now, regardless of where you're sitting, you wanna make sure that your platform matches the orientation of the center platform. For example, the one is on the bottom here and regardless of where the players are sitting, they're always going to match this. This will help it be easier to see if you finished your performance correctly. Next on the app, you'll see at the top, there'll be four swimmers there, left to right, it's blue, then yellow, then green, then pink. And that shows four different players. Now, if you're playing with less than four, you'll click the minus swimmer left arrow there towards the top. And now it just shows three swimmers for three players. If you wanna add more, you'll click the plus arrow on the right there, and you can add up to as many players, up to six. But in this case, let's say we were playing with four players. We have it set like that. Then we would hit the campaign button right in the middle. So here you'll have up to 10 different campaigns that you'll be able to play. You'll, we'll start with the first one, which is the only one unlocked by default at the beginning called Sudden Depth. So we'll go ahead and click that. You'll need these cards to compete in Sudden Depth. Now notice on the app, it's going to tell us which sync cards to use. So you're going to grab the sync deck. In this case, as shown, we're going to get cards 1 through 10 for blue, yellow, green, and pink. And notice it says no cards for purple or orange. Wilds, we have 1 through 5, and grays, we have 6 through 10. Now keep in mind that this card distribution is going to change depending on the player count that you selected. So if you're playing with a player count other than what we show here, which is four, you really want to pay attention to what the app's showing you, not necessarily as what you're seeing on the screen right now. Next, you'll take all of those sync cards that you're using for this routine. You'll shuffle them all together really well and place them face down on the center platform. Then you're going to click the next button on the app. Place the submarine cards as shown. So just like the app said, you're going to find the submarine element cards and you're going to place them around the center platform as shown with the number one being next to number one and so on and so forth because the submarine is the icon for this specific routine called sudden depth. Then press the next button. Flip submarine one. And as it said, you're going to flip the submarine one card. Now at this point, the app is going to tell the captain how many of those sync cards that are in the middle of the platform 
are they're going to deal out face down to each swimmer. In this case, it says deal two cards to each swimmer, and you can see that they've been dealt. Now, these need to stay face down. Players cannot look at their cards before you start the swim practice. And now that we're set up, let's talk about the object of sink or swim. So as you see, there are five different aspects of this specific routine, and we're trying to get through all of those and complete it in order to win or finish this routine cooperatively together. Now the player with the phone in front of them is the captain, and they're the captain of the team, and they're going to be talking about strategy. Now everyone can talk about strategy, but the captain's sort of leading the discussions and saying certain things. Now in this first round, what's gonna happen is we're gonna be under a timer, which I'll show you in just a moment, but in this round, all of the swimmers, that's what this means here, needs to play the same color face down in their number one slot. So for example, players are gonna be playing a single card in that slot and they're all trying to have it be the same color. And when they're finished, hopefully we've done that correctly and we can move on to the next round of this routine. Now this phase of the round where we're about to start and we're gonna be trying to work together to play the right cards on the right slots is known as the swim practice. Then once that's done, we're gonna go to the swim performance and see how everyone did. Now before you start each round, you can strategize and you're supposed to try to strategize so that you can come up with some sort of uh, way to efficiently finish this round. You can give advice, strategy, you can ask questions. You really want to do a lot of strategizing if you can before practice begins. So there's different approaches. Like even in this first very simple one, the captain could say, hey, we're all gonna play the same color no matter what, even though none of us have seen our cards yet. Let's just all play yellow. Or you could wait till you start, and which we'll show you in just a moment when you actually do start, players will pick the cards up and maybe you can say, hey, everyone mention uh, which colors they have one at a time, and we'll all just figure out which colors we all have. Now, when players are ready, the captain's gonna hit the swim button, and as you can see, you're gonna start with 20 seconds for everyone to fulfill this. Now, everyone has two cards that they haven't seen, and as soon as the captain hits the swim button, that's when players can pick up their cards and look at them. Now, you, you can never show your cards to other players, but remember, you can say anything about them to anyone else. Now, before we hit the swim button and show you how the timer works, I wanna let you know that when that button's pressed and the players pick up their cards and put them in their hand, there's a couple of things that you can do. For example, in this case, let's say everybody wants it to be pink and you don't have any pink cards. Well, let's say this player has two pinks. They're gonna place one in their number one, and they're gonna pass you the other one, which you'll be able to play in your number one. So you can work together like that and trying to get everything together in sync. Always making sure when you pass cards, they must be face down. And the recipient can look at face down pass cards to confirm it's really what's needed to complete an element. Another option you have is deck diving. What you can do is discard two cards face up near the center of the platform as a discard pile. Then you'll draw one card from this deck and then you'll view it. Now you can either keep that card or you can discard it and deck dive again. Keeping in mind that gray, this is a good time to point out, is not a color. So if everyone has to do the same color, notice the gray is not in the word color here. You could not use that. Let's say, hey, great, I got a pink. I would place it down here at number one, face down just like that, and hopefully everyone is completed at this point. Now, when you've completed your practice and you're ready, you're going to place your hands over your head together in a diving position. And the captain's gonna wait until all swimmers are finished. So let's show you how the timer works. So let's say everyone is about ready. Remember, at this point, nobody has looked at their cards yet. The captain is gonna press the swim button and everyone's gonna pick up their cards and they're gonna start the practice. Swim! As you can see, it's gonna count down the time and players are talking to each other saying, hey, I need a pink, pass me, can you pass me a card? Oh, I'm gonna deck dive. You're trying to just remind people what they're trying to do. And if you do and everyone finishes and everyone's hands are above their head, the captain can press both of those circles. Right on. Look at that with one second left. Then you're gonna go into the performance, which is everyone is going to flip over all the ones in this case in front of them. So for example, we see everyone's number one is flipped over and everyone had the same color. So the captain is gonna press the in sync button on the app. Perfect. Flip submarine two. So they're gonna pass the phone to the left. That player's gonna be the next captain. You'll gather all the sync cards and reshuffle before dealing for the next element. In this case, three cards. And you're gonna flip card number two. 
But instead, if at least one player did not have the same color as everyone, the captain would hit the not in sync button, which will also add 10 seconds and you'll get to try again. Oh no. So now you see you're gonna get two cards to each swimmer and now you're gonna have 30 seconds instead of 20 seconds. Now this will continue if you keep uh, incorrectly finishing your practice, you'll keep adding 10 seconds all the way to the point where you have three minutes actually. Another way to fail around is if the timer is to run out. Now, as it starts to tick down and it gets close, it's gonna remind everyone there's only a few seconds left in this round. Three, two, one, time's up. And as you can see, you ran out of time and you can press try again, it's gonna add another 10 seconds. So let's take a closer look at what this second round element card is. Now, normally it would stay in its slot there, number two, but I put it next to here so it's a little bit easier for us to read. Now, in addition to what we did before, which is have all the swimmers have the same color, you also have another challenge where two individual swimmers will have to have either a left hand, both hands, or a right hand, and the rest of the swimmers, regardless of the amount of players, will all need to play any blue card. For example, here is a left hand card. That would be good for one of these two swimmers. Also maybe a double hands card, or again a right, it will say it right on it. But this does not match this, so one of these two swimmers could not play a card like that. Now players can play a card in front of themselves in the right slot in front of their own board face down in any order. But a lot of times it might make sense to work on the same things together. Now keep in mind, as you complete rounds, it's gonna always have you pass the phone to the left, that's the new captain, and tell you how many sync cards to deal out. Remember to always take all the cards that were played in front of all players and in the discard pile, shuffle them up into the sync deck before you're dealing them out to anyone face down. Now within each routine at some point, a twist is going to come. But wait, there's a twist. And you simply press the show twist button to see what that twist is. Pass cards left. Like in this specific example, you're going to pass cards to the left after completing each of your lane numbers in front of you. Keeping in mind, you're doing this for all of the elements that are in this routine. And as you complete round after round, you're going to finally get to the final round of the specific routine. In this case, we're in round six, flipping the fifth submarine card. So let's take a look at the other ones that are in this routine. Now for the third one, each individual swimmer will either have to play a two or less or a nine or above. In the fourth one, each individual swimmer must play two different color cards and it doesn't matter what other people play. In the fifth one, all swimmers must play three even cards or all swimmers must play three odd cards. Remember that all of the cards that are out here, everyone has to complete to finish that routine. So if we were trying to complete this, we were on basically the last part of this routine. And when you're done with the practice, you'd go to the performance and everyone would flip over their cards and we'd go lane by lane, looking at the numbers and looking what's played to see if everyone did it successfully. For example, everyone had to play the same color. Well, this was wild, so it matched everyone else's same color. This one here is blue, so I could have been one of these swimmers, but it also had hands, so I could have been one of these two swimmers as well in this case. Now this one here, I needed to have a two or less or a nine above. I have a nine or above. This one here, they had to be two different colors. Each swimmer had to do two different colors regardless of what others played, and I have two different colors, that's great. Here, all swimmers have to play three even or all swimmers have to play three odd. In this case, we are all doing three evens, and I did this, and you look to see if everyone did this successful. If so, you have completed this routine. Now, if you finish the entire routine, and that is why they call it sink or swim. Now you can click the view score button. And, and it's going to give you a score. And here's your score. 85.31. Now, as you can see, there's different amounts of types of points here. We have execution, synchronization, difficulty, score. And if you click on any of these, it actually tells you what is made up of that particular score. Now, when you get back to the main menu and you press the campaign, you'll notice that the next one below sudden depth is unlocked, Floaty Follies. And it actually has your score above that, as you can see, 85.31. Now, keep in mind the gear setting in the bottom right there. If you click that, you can change some of the volumes and such, but you could also 
unlock or lock all of the different routines if you want to sort of start over with a brand new group. Also keep in mind from the main page, you could select a random routine. And now if you do that, again, it's gonna tell you which cards you need. Place these cards as shown. But it's gonna randomize the elements. So for example, cards two and three are the submarines like we'd seen before, but the other cards are from different routines that were uh, that would have been unlocked later. So you can play a, basically a randomized version and mix and mingles different cards from different elements of the different routines. Keep in mind that if you want clarifications on a specific card, you can always tap that card on the screen and it will give you a detailed description. Like in lane number four, this one says, each swimmer plays two cards that are different colors. Gray cards may not be played because gray is not a color. Or maybe we go to lane five that's flipping over there. We click this one. All swimmers each play three cards that are odd or three cards that are even. All swimmers must agree to play odd or even. You can look at the rule book in pages 16 through 19 to see what each individual icon set means. Well, I hope this helped you dive right into sink or swim faster than you normally would if you had to read the rule book yourself. Now, if you have further questions about the rules, I've placed the link below me in the description of this video. And that's the best place to ask them since I'll be notified, but also so will Bezier Games.